Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we tell you why Ottoman Empire didn't have any colony. A colony is defined as a city or land usually far away from the original country that owns it. In that sense, the Turkish Empire didn't have colonies that are far away or overseas except a few special examples. Known as Karim, Assyrian trade colonies are known to have existed in Mesopotamia and Anatolia in the ancient world. Phoenicians and ancient Greeks were among the first ones to colonize the Mediterranean Sea. By establishing a sea trade network, they ruled the Near East. The word colony comes from the Latin word, colonia. Roman colonies were often fortified outposts situated in the different parts of the Roman Empire. Though commercial interests and cultural exchange were initial reasons to set up colonies, military and administrative aspects of colonization became more prominent over time. Geographical discoveries in the Western Hemisphere enabled Spain and Portugal to establish colonial empires in Central and Southern America. England, then Great Britain, got the northern part of the continent. By the 19th century, major Western European powers had colonies in Africa, Americas and parts of Asia. These colonies were colonies in modern sense. It is the colony as we understand today. In future, mankind seems to look forward to setting up colonies in space. This will be a different type of colonization. Back to the topic, the Turkish Empire was a classical land empire like its Eastern Roman and Roman predecessors. Turkey, as an empire, was a highly centralized state and there were no separate territories like colonies. In the early days of the Ottoman state, though, there were few examples that could roughly be considered as colonization. These specific examples feature semi-independent commanders or community leaders known as Akinsabayi. Being one of them, Evrenos Ghazi's colonization of Macedonia can be considered as an example. Hundreds of new settlements centered around defensive castles, just like Roman coloniae. But in a Turkish sense, including Yenis Ivada, today's Giannitsa, Elbasan and Didigik, Alexandropoli, were founded by the Turks during 14th-15th centuries in the Balkans. However, central authority became dominant after a brief period, and those lands were incorporated into the empire, thus didn't become colonies. By the 16th century, Turkey was a world power. While not being eager to discover new worlds in the West, Turkish seamen explored parts of the Indian Ocean and set up outposts and forts in the Eastern African and Archanese coasts. These attempts were under the pretext of helping other Muslim communities in those regions. Arche was a Turkish protectorate until 1903 and had a similar flag with Turkey. Here on Quora, I wrote another answer about discovery attempts of the Turks. In short, the Turkish Empire could not exactly be considered as a colonial empire. It was a classical empire with a central authority. It didn't possess colonies in other parts of the world. However, by 1914, still as a multicultural empire, Turkey, despite being severely weakened by wars and financial problems, was still on par with major colonial empires around the world. Thus, in some political maps, the Turkish Empire is shown as a colonial power, losing the former glory. By 1914 Turkey only had Arab inhabited regions other than Turkish majority areas. Though being a crumbling empire, it still preserved its independence as a nation state in its Turkish majority areas of Anatolia and Thrace after WWI.